Cancer Rising December 2021 is an ending of the year focusing on your physical well-being. Really big focus on bringing roots back to home. And even with so much hustle and bustle, busyness going out into the external world, really big on what matters with your physical body. If you're excited to dive into the astrology and the tarot for your rising sign for this December, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you are always up to date with what the stars have in store for you. Before we get into it, quick mention of two things that I use on a daily basis in crypto that you might be interested in. First is Swan Bitcoin. It's where I dollar cost average every month and buy a small amount of Bitcoin repeatedly. And if you use my link down below, you will get $10 of free Bitcoin upon signing up. And the second thing that I want to mention is Cointelegraph Markets Pro, a resource to track news and what's up and coming in the market. So it will let you know whether Bitcoin or altcoins are projected to perform better in the weeks to come. It will also let you know what coins are trending in the news so you can front run them and get ahead of the trade. So I use both of them regularly if you want to check them out down below. Hi, if we have not met yet, I am Marin. I am a professional astrologer using Hellenistic techniques within whole sign houses and the tropical zodiac if you're new here and confused about what system I'm using. We start out the month and end the year on a note of a solar eclipse in your sixth house of physical health, physical health issues and maintenance especially, and or coworkers or pets, other people that matter for you to take care of in your life and coexist with. So solar eclipses are new beginnings on steroids. It's a kind of world event or world theme that then leads you to have a new beginning in this area of life. For you that's around daily physical health upkeep or maintenance of health issues or coexisting with coworkers or pets, a kind of new beginning that after the past year and a half of focusing on letting go or cleaning out that area of life with habits or the people that you work with, now it's what's your final takeaway and how are you going to prioritize this area of life leading into 2022. From the 6th to the 8th, Mars in your Scorpio 5th house will be squaring Jupiter in your Aquarius 8th house. So some trouble, conflict, maybe even just going after something you want in your 5th house of creativity or romantic relationships is squaring Jupiter in your 8th house. So almost like there's trouble or a bit more effort you're having to put towards romantic relationships or your children or art, whereas you seem to be getting a lot of money or are doing well investment wise. And that's like up against maybe you're like, honey, I have to trade. And they're like, come to bed. Or like, I've seen that dynamic where like you want to be doing something fun, but in reality, you're focusing on profit. On the ninth onward, Venus will conjoin Pluto in Capricorn. The growth and massive growth of the value of relationship will tone the entrance into the new year. Venus has values, Pluto is massive scale, Capricorn is serious, and your seventh house is committed relationships. So this is the really big long, longer term focus as we head into 2022. On the 11th to the 12th, the sun in your Sagittarius 6th house will be squaring Neptune in your Pisces 9th house. So focusing on bettering your physical body does come with some issues because you're not sure where you'll be location wise or education wise in the next upcoming months. It looks like you're trying to get your like healthy lifestyle together, but you don't know where you're going to be located in like a ninth house foreign travel higher education circumstance. So that might lead to a lack of clarity. On the 14th, Mars enters your Sagittarius sixth house. It looks like you're going after bettering yourself, your physical well being, and um, there's just more activity and aggression going towards physically keeping yourself in a uh, good health. From the 16th onward, Saturn in your Aquarius 8th house will square Uranus in your Taurus 11th house. This has been a year-long theme, but it's the really big focus as we close out the year. We're trying to be really serious and responsible with your money. Comes at the cost of friends or networking, making that difficult or spontaneous. Like your friends, people that you're around, want to throw all this money everywhere, do all these things, and you're like, man, I'm trying to be conservative and like stay responsible with how I'm investing. On the 19th, there's a full moon in your Gemini 12th house, an ending, a letting go, a celebration or closure around your 12th house of mental health, mental well-being, internal, private, spiritual states. So it looks like a letting go or an ending to something that you've been working on spiritually or privately for the past year and a half, really. It's the ending of that kind of a cycle. On the 20th, Venus stations retrograde in your Capricorn 7th house. So this will be most relevant to those of you who have a descendant around 20 degrees of Capricorn. 20 to like 24 degrees of Capricorn, if you have a descendant there and your ascendant is 20 to 24 Cancer, will be the most relevant for you. But everyone with a Cancer rising is going to have a rethinking of committed relationships in their life, 
for the next two or so months. On the 22nd, as the sun enters your Capricorn seventh house, that is even more of a focus. Now on the 28th, Jupiter enters your Pisces ninth house. We got a preview of this May into July when Jupiter, the planet of growth, was in its home sign of Pisces in your ninth house of foreign travel, spiritual, large scale, like inquiry or practices or higher education, where for the year ahead, that is the area of life with a lot of progress and growth for you, where you can expect a ton of abundance and optimism. If you have any thoughts down below about what's coming up for you, I would love to hear any thoughts, any opinions, any projected events that line up with what I'm seeing here. Always interested to hear down below. And let's get into the tarot. Tarot card for Cancer Risings for this month. We have, we have the Hermit inverted. And in this card, it's Warren inverted. It's like Warren Buffett inverted because this is the trading view, like investing tarot deck. But the Hermit inverted shows don't be a hermit, like get your ass out there. So as we close out the year, even as you focus on yourself, don't be a hermit. <laughs> if you did enjoy this, as always, make sure that you like, subscribe. It does help out in the algorithm. And as the last video for your rising sign for 2021, if you want to mention anything about what you've experienced or like things that transit wise came up for you along the year that maybe I didn't touch on or I did and you want to emphasize, let me know in the comments. I always get interested to read. I see everything. So for now, I will see you in 2022. Take care. That will be the next one.